Hello, grade 6. Welcome to our perimeter uh, composite figures video. Uh, this is a continuation of what you have learned on the first day of virtual school. So for this video, your learning goals are to understand what is perimeter and when you're going to use perimeter. And then the second one is how to solve and how to calculate perimeter of various composite figures. First, you need to know what is a composite figure. A composite figure is a figure that is made by different figures such as triangle, quadrilateral, semicircles, and other two-dimensional figures. For example, this figure that you see, this figure is composed of more than one figures. So let's divide them First, you will see a half circle or a semicircle, and then you have a triangle. So in that composite figure, you actually have three figures put together. Okay, so I hope composite figure is clear. Then on the second one, the next thing you need to understand is what is perimeter. So the perimeter of a polygon is the distance around the outside of the polygon. So if you can see here in this diagram or picture, you see the fence. If we want to find the perimeter of the fence, it will be the distance from this point, and then you go around until you went back to your uh, original position. Okay, so it should be around your figure. Okay, so let's have a problem, an example problem. Problem is Alice is putting a wallpaper border around her bedroom. And so for Alice to put the wallpaper border, she must find the perimeter of her of her bedroom. Okay, so that he, she will know how much uh, bo wallpaper border she has to buy. Okay, so this is the diagram of Alice's bedroom. Okay, so let's solve now what is the perimeter of her bedroom. We start on this side, and on this side is 8 feet. So we have here 8 feet. And then on the other side, this 6 feet. So we have plus 6 feet because we are measuring the distance around. Okay, so on this side, we have a long side. That's 12 feet, so now we have here add 12 feet, and then on this side is 3 feet, so we add 3 feet. Now on this side, it's not really clear how long or what's the distance on this side, okay, because it's not given, but we can find out based from the other information that is given to us. Okay, so we know that from there, from here is from here to there is 12 feet but we only want this small portion okay but we also know this part so we can just have 12 feet minus 8 feet so we now know that this side is 4 feet now we can add this figure okay on our equation now we only have one side left, this one, and we, we also don't know what it is. We, all, we know that this is 3 feet, and then the total is 6.5 feet. So we can just go 6.5, and then we know that that's 3 feet. So just like what we just did, 6.5 feet minus 3 feet, it will give us 3.5. Now we know how long is this distance. So we can just include that in our equation. So we'll have plus 3.5 feet. And if we add all these numbers, it will give us 37 feet. So Alice... Alice needs to purchase or to buy 37 feet of wallpaper border. Okay. Another example. 
Detective LaRue is investigating a crime committed at the local park. He must walk around the park. And we are given the diagram of the park. Okay. Uh, what is the total distance of the entire park? So if Detective LaRue is going to walk around this park, what is the total distance? So let's do it so one side at a time. First is this side here, and we know it's 7 meters. So 7 perimeter is equal to 7 meters. And then this side is 4 meters. So let's add 4 meters there. And then let's look at this side. That's 3 meters. Let's add that side once again. And then we go here. That is 4 meters. So we add 4 meters. We go up. We know that this side is the same length as this one. Okay. So that's 3 meters as well. Okay. And then on top there is 3 meters. So another 3 meters. And then this long side 7 meters which is the same as the other side over there. So that's 7 meters. And we can just look at how long is this at the bottom. Okay. At the bottom we have from here to here is 3 meters. And then from here to here is 4. So that's 3 plus 4 equals 7. And then from here to the, to the, la to the end is another 4 meters. So 7 plus 4, we're going to have 11 meters. So let's put 11 meters there. And if we add all these numbers, we will get 42 meters. Okay, so the total distance of the entire park is 42 meters. Now at this point, you stop the video and let's check your understanding. Once again, you can solve these problems in your notebook or open a Google Doc or email the answers to me or you can also open a Word document that you can email to me later. So, if you cannot see the, the distance here at the bottom on this figure, this is 17 centimeters, this is 16, okay? And then here at the bottom is 12 centimeters. Okay? So this 12 centimeters is the same as this side. So because right now you can't see it in your video. So the missing measurement here or the missing me measures are like 12 centimeters on this side and 12 centimeters at the bottom. Okay, so... Good luck and solve this problem. Pause the video. Okay, good job. I'm, I hope that you have finished all the problems, all these three figures, and you figured out what the perimeters are of these three figures or composite figures. Okay, let's make it more difficult. Okay, what if you have a semicircle like this at the end? Okay, let's put the numbers that we know first. Okay, so taking the distance around the figure and getting the perimeter for this figure, we start on top 7 centimeters. So perimeter is equal to 7 centimeters. Then we go down and then take this diagonal line here. And that's 5 centimeters. So we add 5. And then that side for centimeters and we add 4. So from here we go to this side which is another 7 meters because it's the same as this, the distance on top. Okay, now we have a semicircle. Okay, now remember that the perimeter of a circle has a special name. It is called the, that's correct, circumference. And you have learned circumference in the previous video. And it's found using either of these formulas. 
you can u either use circumference is equal to 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius. Or you can get the circumference by multiplying 3.14, or what you call pi, to its diameter. Now, on this semicircle, what is given to you? Is it a radius or a diameter? Remember that a diameter is a line that starts from one edge of the circle that passes through the center and ends at the other side. So 3 cm is the diameter, and so that means that we are going to use this formula. The circumference is equal to 3.14 times diameter, or pi times diameter. Let's do it on this side. So this part is going to be 3.14 times 3. We are following this formula. And if we multiply it, we will get 9.42 centimeters or 9 and 42 hundredths centimeters. Now, when we calculated this, we actually calculated the entire or the whole circle. But we don't have a whole circle here. We only have a half circle or a semicircle. So that means that what we calculated is actually bigger than what we need. Because this is only half of a circle, that means that we are going to divide this by... Two. So 9, 9 and 42 hundredths divided by 2 is equal to 4.71 or 4 and 71 centimeters or 71 hundredths centimeters. So that means this semicircle or this circumference is just 4 and 71 hundredths centimeters. So now we can add this number in here, plus 4.71, and we add all this number to get the perimeter. So the perimeter of this composite figure is 27 and 71 hundredths centimeters. Well done. Okay, now it's your turn. You need to show that you know how to do and how to solve perimeter. Solve these two problems and again include this in the Google Doc or Word document that you're going to email to me later or in your notebook wherein you're going to take a picture so that you can email it to me. Okay. That's it for virtual school and Merry Christmas and enjoy your holidays. Bye, grade six.